For this project, we're going to make a summer dress inspired by the brand for Love and Lemons. We're going to need scissors, thread, pins, elastic, string or ribbon for the straps, measuring tape, any embellishments you like, and a stretchy jersey fabric. We're going to start by pinning the fabric at the side seam and then gathering it across the bust. The amount that you gather your fabric is totally up to you. And then we're going to trim away the excess. We want our rectangle to be about 5 to 10 centimeters underneath the bust. Then we're going to do the same with the back of the fabric, again pinning at the side seam, gathering, and trimming away the excess. When trimming, make sure you're leaving a 1 centimeter seam allowance for both of your side seams. We're then going to flip our fabric and place it right sides together and sew it with a zigzag stitch. We're going to do this for both of our side seams. Because I'm not using a serger, I'm going to try to replicate a serger stitch by trimming away the excess fabric on my seam and going over it again with another zigzag stitch. The second zigzag stitch will go over the side of the fabric. Now that's both of your side seams sewn. Next, we're going to sew a butterfly hem on the top of the loop that we just created. Before I stitch my butterfly hem, I want to do some tests on the fabric. So I'm going to try different lengths and different widths, pulling the fabric at different amounts until I like the look of the butterfly hem. I decided I liked the look of going over the butterfly hem with two stitches. We're now ready to do it along the top of our real fabric. Make sure you're giving your fabric slight tug as you go and that the needle is going over the edge of the fabric. The next step is going to be attaching our elastic around the top of the bust. When measuring the elastic, make sure it's slightly snug so it can help with holding up the dress. And then trim it leaving some overlap. You can now pin your elastic to your fabric. Remembering that when you stretch your elastic, it should reach all the way around the fabric. I'm pinning my elastic about 2 centimeters down from the top of the lettuce hem. Then I'm going to attach the elastic, stretching it as I sew with a zigzag stitch. I'm now ready to do a lettuce hem on the bottom of the tube. Exactly the same as the first time, stretching the fabric slightly and making sure the needle goes over the edge. Now we're going to cut the bottom part of our dress. The bottom part is going to be gathered again as much as you like and then you can decide on the length. Make sure to include seam allowance on the top and the bottom when you're cutting the fabric. Now you're going to use those measurements to cut the fabric. It's just going to be cut in a rectangle and then we're going to sew the same zigzag seam. And the more fabric, the more gathers you're including. Again, trimming the fabric and then going over it with another zigzag stitch. Here you can see how much I decided to gather my dress. We're now going to use a second piece of elastic, under the bust this time, again slightly snug with an overlap for the elastic. Now we're going to attach the three layers. We're going to place the top piece wrong side up, then the bottom piece wrong side up, and then our elastic. The elastic won't fit all the way around because remember again we're going to be stretching it while we sew, but when it's stretched it should fit all along the fabric. And then we're again going to sew with a zigzag stitch, pulling the elastic as we sew. Now we're going to attach our straps and our bow embellishment if we'd like to add that as well. For our straps, we can add them in one piece or we can add two pieces of ribbon and tie them on top as a bow. We're then going to stitch our straps down with a zigzag stitch or with a hand needle. For the straps, I used my machine, but for the bow, I'm going to use a hand needle. For the last step, we're going to do our butterfly hem. I decided to shorten my dress a bit and then do the zigzag stitch. And you're all done! Thank you for watching and if you liked the video, please subscribe.